Let's see one question from inverse Laplace transform. We need to find the Laplace inverse of cot inverse s plus 3 by 2. Because you can uh, see that no direct formula of Laplace inverse is used here. So we will use the rule. So we have one rule that uh, Laplace inverse of first derivative of f bar s if this is there then we what we do we simply multiply by minus t and then Laplace inverse of f bar s this is for the first derivative for second derivative if it's second derivative is there then minus 1 power 2 that is 1 here you will get t square if the third derivative is there then minus 1 power 3 and t cube and so on. So because here we are interested, let's see uh, what happens is uh, you have to take the derivative and check whether the RHS is standard form or not. If it is standard then it's fine. If it is not standard then you go to the higher derivatives. So let's check if the first order derivative is standard or not. So if we differentiate it, this with respect to s, what cot inverse s plus 3 divided by 2. So what we will get? Derivative of cot inverse is minus 1 upon 1 plus this square. So s plus 3 by 2 whole square. We will go inside. We can write this as s by 2 plus 3 by 2. Derivative of 3 by 2 is 0 and that of s by 2 will give you half. Okay. So let's simplify the RHS first so you will get uh, this 4 can go up and you will take LCM as 4 plus s plus 3 square and this uh, 1 by 2 is there which can get cancelled okay I am not uh, opening this bracket because I will use another rule uh, which is popularly known as the first shift later on so I am not touching this bracket now LHS is d by ds of cot inverse s plus 3 divided by 2. Okay. Fine. Now, I am ready to take Laplace inverse on both sides. Why I am ready to take? Because I can see that RHS is uh, RHS is nearly a uh, direct formula based now because if you will use the first shift then it will become formula based. So what I am doing is uh, writing this as Laplace inverse of d by ds of cot inverse s plus 3 by 2 this is Laplace inverse of 2 I can take out Laplace inverse of 1 upon s plus 3 whole square plus this I can write this as 2 square okay now you know the first shift that if we move from s minus a to s we just multiply by e power a t this is in case of Laplace inverse and in case of Laplace, we used to move from s to s minus a, then also we used to multiply by e power a t. Now here we are moving from s minus minus 3 to s. So here we will multiply by e power minus 3 t. Okay. So this now we can write as by using this formula minus t times Laplace inverse of this thing which is cot inverse s plus 3 by 2 this is 2 times now if we are moving from s plus 3 to s we will just multiply as I already mentioned by e power minus 3t and we will take the Laplace inverse of 1 upon this will now convert to s square plus 2 square now this becomes a simple question Laplace inverse of 1 upon s square plus a square which is simply sin 2t sin 80 divided by a so sin 2t divided by 2 
so uh, i am writing this as laplace inverse of cot inverse s plus 3 by 2 is equal to this 2 will come and uh, here somewhere there was a minus sign also so i will take care of that also minus 2 is there i took minus 2 out so this minus minus will get cancelled so this t i am sending to the right hand side so 2 by t e power minus 3t and this laplace inverse will give me sin 2t divided by 2 this 2 gets cancelled now finally what i am getting is laplace inverse of cot inverse s plus 3 by 2 which was my requirement this is coming out to be 1 by t e power minus 3t and sin 2t fine so this is uh, the basic rule which we have used and another rule was the rule of first shift that if you are shifting from s minus a to s just multiply by e power at and you are uh, good to go ahead so two rules first one being the laplace transform of derivative what we do just multiply by minus t in case this is the first derivative in case it is second derivative so minus 1 square into t square you will multiply in case it is third derivative so minus 1 cube into t cube and so on and you already know the first shift one basic formula we used that was laplace inverse of 1 upon s square plus a square which is sin 80 divided by a that's it from my side i hope you enjoyed this question thanks and have a nice day